Earn 60. All right. Well, we've made contact. He is similar and competent, which is kind of scary in that he caught up there. Um, he was weaker and naive a while ago, so it looks like he's catching up in science. He's also ahead by three cities. Um, so we will eventually catch up because we got three settlers in queue here for these three sites. One, two, three. Um, we are behind at this point. Just had our husband who was as a scholar here uh, and they died, which is not great. We probably assigned Duchess Sebat uh, here to just do decrees because I feel like I need orders pretty badly at the moment. I don't have a second scholar, unfortunately, and I don't have a scholar in this family either. Um, so nice thing about constitution is decree. Got some raiders here, which is annoying. Um, yeah, that is kind of scary that he's competent. Uh, very, very scary, actually. I was naive a second ago on my turn, so maybe the calculation is different when you load it when it's not your turn. Uh, we did see a bunch of chariots here somewhere. I don't know where they went. I don't have great vision. I am scouting uh, his, I'm infiltrating his nation here. And I'm gonna like feed scouts inland more to get an idea of what's going on. Um, but right now, like, looks like he only has warrior and slinger. So that implies that he doesn't have axe tech yet. So I guess he went chariot. Um, yeah. And he apparently lacks money as well. I'm not sure. I think so. Um, not sure how to read this. Maybe it only works on when it's actually your turn in game um, and you're looking at them. Or they've changed it. Not sure. Um, yeah, so succession is secure. We have a granddaughter uh, and two daughters. Unfortunately, she took Schemer, which we didn't really want. It was one of the event chains that gives you a chance for Schemer. So we overrode her politics training, um, which is not great. Um, I'm potentially tempted to designate someone else as the heir because she's just such an amazing spy master. 97 family opinion. Uh, I don't want to have an ambassador. Um, so yeah, so I could, I could actually designate Duchess Seba as my ambassador. I think I would prefer her to be a governor just to spam decrees out. I don't know. We'll need to consider ambassador verse, uh, ambassador verse, uh, First governor, we'll see. Sad that I lost an inquiry that was like half done. I had three turns left in inquiry three, and I just got, got like just, I have not, I can't rush it with anything. So no judges, nothing uh, to rush with. So I, yeah, I may move her back over because Wasat has better, better civics production uh, than Yamu, uh, and I don't. It looks like I don't actually need decrees that badly for now. I'm just counseling to get some civics out of it, um, and may just counsel in this city realistically. Uh, yeah, we've expanded up the coast quite a ways here. Um, yeah, so very kind of was feeling good about this game. Similar competence, scary. Somehow he's only on two laws to my six, soon to be seven. I'm not sure what the story there is. This city's a long way away from strong. Um, so we got a theater and an Odeon here, but it's still not enough. Um, yeah, we're trying to expand orders so we can get quicker movement as well. Uh, I have a little bit of forces here. It might push in. We'll see. Feels like this is going to be the channel of attack. Um, Danish land is kind of crappy up there. Um, yeah, so visualize we haven't gotten, I think I haven't seen any ambitions that I liked. Um, tech wise, we are, uh, we picked up Porcolis, which is what it got our spy master. Now we're doing citizenship. Probably going, that'll be our seventh law. Probably going to get forestry after that, realistically. Um, we're going to need uh, that for maintaining wood production for our unique unit. Um, yeah, so after forestry, I think that's that's pretty much it. Potentially could also consider cartography for stealing tech, uh, especially if he is actually competent. So we'll see. Um, where's, yeah, min competence. So if he stays competent, uh, I think we, we would consider cartography. Um, for stealing tech, for sure we definitely want uh, hydraulics. So I don't know something down here. Cartography is it's eight hundred, and yeah, that's a thousand. So for now, though, we get um, that really, really sad missed that, that 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 our king died and we just lost lost that and had nothing to rush to. Eventually, I would like to upgrade all launch a lot of these warriors to spears. Um, really not sure. I saw a bunch of chariots here. Maybe they went off this way. I don't know. I guess maybe he cleared north first. Who knows? 
Um, definitely, definitely feeling very blind here. Um, Law-wise, we have epic slavery, vassage, constitution, serve to monotheism. We have not picked up orthodoxy. Theory, I could run decree and then orthodoxy here. That's also an option um, to rush out some inquiries uh, for orders possible. Something, something to consider. Um, don't really have the orders to apply anything. Rush not with orders. We probably need stronghold and citadel. Wasak and Yamukai. So I think I moved all my workers. All my workers south, and I need to actually get a stronghold to sit up here, so I could go upgrade to eight strength units and come knocking at his door. Um, and probably need to switch, switch this city to production because we don't have any military units being built and it's turn 60. So <laughs> that's probably pushing it a little too far. Um, can't rely just on this because if he comes knocking, all this is going to crumble very quickly. So yeah, um, that's tech tree, wonders. Uh, just I, only Egypt is the only one. Cities by training, uh, 19 here, 14 in Wasa, um, from Council of all things. Um, so yeah, two apprentice officers, we're getting a master officer, really probably should build. Um, I think I started this one because this hadn't finished yet, so now I think we definitely like chariot. Uh, we definitely need that light chariot, so. Okay. And then um, source of science, Yama was at 15. Six, largely from my governor, Wasa not far behind. Um, and then everywhere basically that has a monastery is doing great. And places that don't yet have a monastery like here aren't doing that great. Would like to get a disciple over here at some point, um, probably after that finishes. Pull that far, far back. So this disciple southwest. Um see we might actually hard build the disciple somewhere as well, like here here, although this is going to be such a great settler production city, I don't want to hard build. So, some interesting choices for next turn. Um, family opinion. Two families have converted to Egyptian paganism, which is really, really annoying. Um, I've influenced her and she still hates my guts. Um, I forget why she hates my guts so much. We're different. Twice. Okay, she's just proud. Proud versus humble. And then we're different result of her scholar. And that is enough for her to like really, really hate me. And unfortunately, this family has converted and this family has converted. I am influencing the matriarch so that I could use civics potentially to start converting people back, uh, which will help. So something to do as a longer term project, but also very tight on civic citizenship will help with that. That's part of the reason I'm getting citizenship, help with civics. So graph wise, mill score, um, 17, 15 ish or so. Science production, right around 70. Orders, right around 38 or so. Um, and then, yeah, we've produced seven specialists, two other monks, two other officers, and have adopted a bunch of laws, discovered a bunch of texts, and controlled a bunch of improvements. Uh, really relying on those temples for those extra plus two orders. And I've been informed that this doctrine trick that is being showcased in this game is going to get nerfed soon um, and may already be nerfed by the time you're you're watching this. So enjoy and see how overpowered it is or was not, depending on how this game goes uh, and other similar games where we're trying this strat out. So yeah. Um, and he's got Mason. He's still on his original ruler. His heir is a bastard 12-year-old girl. I think that's his original ruler. Oh, no, that's his, that's his heir. So he, he went to a scholar. Um, okay, from Schemer to a scholar. So yeah, um, that's where we're at. So, yeah, I think citizenship is clearly the next choice. And then we'll, we'll think about what we just really need to get this econ up and running. Um, 13 workers. I feel like staying on two cities really actually hurt me really badly. I need to prioritize early expansion. Just can't stop at two like that. You can probably take a breath at three or four, but like two is too low. This raid is annoying. And, yeah, probably clear that and site out and set something there. So get another settler somewhere, um, probably. North side. Maybe get a Byream just to stabilize this movement and enable this. Byream, Link, North and South, Midian site. All right, so other things. Um, that's pretty much it for this. Um, so yeah, it is really disturbing. He's similar and competent somehow on two laws. 
Um, but he's three cities ahead, so maybe that'll do it. Um, maybe this fisher shouldn't be a fisher, instead should be a settler. I don't know. Um, yeah, dies, and that's, you know, it's a lot of money though, so. Um, and sages are pretty good at it, so, you know, we'll see. Uh, this is probably a better place to build another settler, so. Probably need a couple more. Um, one, two, three or so. All right, uh, that's it for this turn, and see you in 10. Hello everyone, so for this turn uh, I'm having PC trouble, so there'll be no game sound. I'm very sorry for that. It will be a bit uh, eerie, I guess, but uh, but there. So my king died, and uh, his hair died before, so I have a kid, kid queen, so I adopted a regent, which is my ex spy master. So I'm getting my science up. Uh, but of course Alcaraz is not having uh, as many problems as I'd like uh, so my queen will be uh, equestrian essentially because he can compensate uh, his otherwise poor order economies with temples and uh, 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 the clerics temple are amazing at plus two orders and he has uh, five clerics city so uh, my only luck so far is that uh, Judaism has been a bit slow to spread but it's more than caught up since then. I have agents in uh, Yamu and uh, Wathet and uh, Hootrepit and I will continue to work on my uh, vision. He's uh, already making a road to rush units toward me so I might be aiming for a timing which is not very Alcaraz like but uh, well Alcaraz can surprise me as well I guess. So uh, let's see about that. I settled the big uh, the many pasture city um, but uh, of course I'm coming back so meaning I declared war on the Skissians I uh, abandoned the plan to have them declare war on Alcaraz and I'll double down to grab this site. I'm having food issues myself after commenting on uh, those faced by Alcaraz by his report uh, so they have that uh, might be losing my militias, but potentially they are for that, so I'm somewhat okay with it. I'm not really sure, but I'm still making a, a scout here. Uh, what I'd really want is to expand this, get the rancher, essentially. I think I'll repair for a turn. Whatever else happened, I got a church, uh, finally, an equestrian church, but uh, specialists are super costly, so I'm having a hard time finding the resources to rush one. How much am I missing? A lot. Okay, we'll see what I do about that. I got to uh, forestry. I'm about to reach a uh, composite pose, so my wood economy is going well, at least. I settled the last uh, goal site I uh, wanted. So this is going okay as well. And I'm still working on those northern positions getting my wood economy up getting a wood economy up uh, my slingers will soon upgrade so I will want some extra wood this city has been settled as well uh, I know I have the civics to start the holy site so I'll be doing that and uh, yeah I guess heal my units, which will need to be full health to be uh, upgraded. Independent city, autonomous rule in Tus. You know what? I don't really care in Tus. That's minus one discontent level, and it's not like I'm going to produce like a madman here. And there was a bug where I could queue whatever I wanted here, and they would do it. Well, I'm not really sure if I care. Let them rule themselves. Uh, Duchess Roxana is growing up fast and eager to learn. Not sure was I can't make a, a philosophy student since I'm seeing only one uh, philosopher. This governor is dead. It was a judge who pushed me to three elder specialists here. 
so he died, but uh, I'm happy he rendered me excellent services uh, before getting there. This one is a corrupt orator, which would cost me quite a bit of money. And I do need a lot more money to tutor my, uh, well, rightful uh, king and heir. And yeah, I should be able to tutor her with, yeah, my great soldier as well, excellent. I'm trying to play quickly because I don't know if my computer <laughs> will uh, let me do so uh, before crashing, so I've had a lot of computer woes today. So yeah, I suspect there might be a bug. I thought I made a, a philosophy student last turn and the choice of philosophy isn't available. But all right, let's go for tactics then. Uh, what's my last walker? Well, around, I guess. Is the answer to that question. Uh, okay, I need to hit this guy. I thought I made it uh, not a moose city a moment ago. Oh yeah, okay, I can't pick. So this seems to be normal, and I can end the year. All right, so it seems to be working. He's pumping inquiries in his core, uh, as somewhat expected, making officers. I'm not seeing ranges, but he's obviously going for his unique units. And probably will try to reach uh, cataphracts if I'm scary enough, but I'm not scary enough at the moment. I'm weaker than him. Uh, maybe even much weaker. Oh no, just reached uh, similar. That might not last, but uh, let's enjoy it while it uh, does. Okay, my king is uh, governor in uh, Proftasia, we'll probably uh, be making inquiries there quite soon. I'll get the farmer and reach uh, an additional farm soon. I uh, got some fur up there. And uh, yeah, what will I do with my remaining order? I don't think I'll be fighting those guys, or maybe I'll keep the warriors around to do that, but my slingers will upgrade to archers. Uh, quite soon, and I'll be happy to go there that way. And uh, yeah, so I consumed quite a bit of my bank of wood, but I'm starting to have decent uh, wood generation. So I guess my plan to to go for for long bows is still alive in the tech tree. I'm, I do have forestry, I'm going for composite bow, I'll need land consolidation, ma manor, and the uh, botkin arrow. If I have to make a detour, it will be through sovereignty and possibly cartography to steal tech. But uh, I feel I'm on a timer, so I'm not sure I am not sure I can afford to go divination, aristocracy, sovereignty, machinery, everything. Well, not machinery, but uh, cartography, but maybe it's worth it. Oh, I'm not too sure. We'll see. My agents are bringing in uh, good science in the meantime, uh, so at least that's a benefit, despite uh, uh, the competitive mode. So we'll see what goes on. I'm still slightly ahead in uh, victory point, mostly uh, through cities, of course. I have uh, 11 cities to Alcaraz is 8, but he has considerable technological advance orthodoxy uh, which allows him to uh, rush many things with temple fueled uh, orders so we'll see uh, we'll see what comes with that he finally brought back some of his uh, tribal mercs to uh, fight the tribes that were giving him issues in here he's definitely playing for a timing compared to usual alcaraz patterns he's definitely expanding uh, with high priority toward me so we'll see how that goes I'm I'm hoping that I can afford to clear up the Skissian camps in my backline. I will need that food and uh, and growth here. This will make a decent site as well. And these barbs have been cleared now, so uh, making settlers will be costly uh, for sure. I don't have the food, but I'm sure I'll manage somehow. And that will be it for my turn. And uh, well, see you in turn 70.
We're in 70. So we've continued expanding. We've founded these two cities. We're clearing barbs. We're going to clear these Danes, barbarian Danes, just to kind of follow the river. And we're building a bunch of settlers. Um, we have one here, one there, one here, three settlers uh, for one, two, three, four sites, probably another site or two up here. Uh, we're caught up in cities. Both of us have 11 cities. Um, we're leading slightly by victory points. Um, interestingly, he is competent and similar, um, which I would not have expected considering I'm on eight laws and he's on two laws. So I'm not sure what's going on tech-wise um, that he's competent. Uh, I did have an event to pick up jurisprudence, which is pretty late in the tech tree. I did not take the event um, largely because I didn't want to uh, get the extra tech advantage from it. And these laws are not that great. I'm probably not going to be using either of them early on, and they're kind of expensive. Um, specifically, though, it would have prevented me from using steel research to grab research. Like, I would much rather grab a military tech faster uh, than uh, getting jurisprudence. I've got decent vision of his empire now. I've got a chariot. See that he's building a chariot here. Looks like he's still on strength five units. A camel archer here, an archer here. 28 training in that city compared to 19 in my city, so I'm a little behind training-wise. Um, we're getting the city up and running as well, so we need to keep focusing on building up training. Don't have vision here. Uh, that's probably the next place my scout will go. I'm a little light on agents. I don't have very many available agents. Um, my spy master and then all, all the agents are taken. I might move one of the agents from here, for example, um, to that, because I imagine that's actually a very good science city. Um, yeah, 14 sites here, actually, so potentially might want to dance some agents around next turn. We'll see. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's expanded pretty aggressively. I guess he went north first, and now he's settling south. He settled this city pretty pretty recently. I'm expecting battle potentially here. I'm sort of protected here, ready, ready for whatever. Definitely not going to go overly heavy into horse, considering his investments into camel archers. Um, so that means he has land consolidation tech-wise. So he's at least got that. Um, interesting tech path. Not something I would expect with Persia. Um, and then he doesn't have four laws, so he doesn't have a stronghold or a citadel. So I will have a window uh, when I have eight laws, uh, when I can get eight strength units, and he will not. Uh, so I'm going to upgrade this light chariot. I'm building a citadel here uh, in Wasa. Wasa is actually going to be hitting legendary soon, which is kind of crazy. Um, like four years away from legendary, that's like the city is just pumping culture. Um, with Yamu much, much further behind, so probably can get an opportunity to snag some wonders as well. Once I get the econ up and running, just trying to get all these cities settled, I'm definitely behind. Um, so right now my plan is just hold this front here, maybe upgrade these units, try to get some vision. What's going on? Looks like he's got some raiders. It looks like his hands are pretty full dealing with the Scythians. Um, so not too worried right now. Um, and just need to make sure I can see when he moves out. That agent's very handy for that. Uh, he should come through here unless he does tricky things. I might want to get, I'm, I'm trying to get racks up here so I can get biremes out of this city to connect things. Um, maybe should have been building a bireme here, although a 10 year bireme in, a, in the, this city is just a civics pump. Uh, if I ever get a second scholar, actually there is now one. I did not see that last turn. Uh, so I should definitely um, get that scholar in there for Yamu, 18 year old scholar, second inquiry. So did not realize she's actually kind of amazing. Um, right, she's my my second line. Uh, I should have realized that she came up age. I didn't realize. Definitely want to cancel that Fisher, replace that diplomat. Um, everyone will still be happy. Uh, also working on getting this weird ambition I've never seen before, having a Jewish amb ambassador, it's a chancellor, and spy master. So using my uh, state religion to convert, and then we're tutoring her for one last turn, and then probably going to move remove this agent, who's this uh, soldier, uh, so I can tutor my eight-year-old in two years or so. Um, so yeah, interesting to note that, that that scholar came of age, and I should probably put her there instead of building a fisher. Um, yeah, so I didn't realize I had a choice for, I think my choice was scholar or diplomat, so yeah, definitely cho chose scholar there. Um, yeah, I think interesting succession eventually here. We're 62, so probably by the next check-in we won't uh, have that ruler. We'll have a schemer. Uh, like a schemer, schemer is always interesting. Uh, would love to 
skip actually and go directly to the scholar. Um, so that might be something worth considering taking the legitimacy hit and just keeping her around as our spy master uh, and having her as our scholar. Uh, we will see. Um, this city has better civics production, I believe, um, ba better base civics production. Let's check. Um, I wish it showed base adding up. Um, plus 62% there and plus 30% here. So yeah, I think not entirely sure actually, which one. I think the Holy City plus two is actually quite a bit. Um, so yeah, but getting these up and running, getting garrisons, we still need more, more orders. Um, we'll probably settle a uh, rider up here, get this city up and running. But yeah, I think once, once we get critical mass of like six, seven, eight, Kushites that we upgraded with eight laws. It's going to take him a while to catch up. We're going to have a window where we can just push in, and he's not going to have much to do, do against eight strength units. So I think we will look for that timing attack window that is afforded, but would love to clear at least the north here um, so we can settle, get a city advantage, and really just have full control of the game. Um, it is a little disconcerting with similar, um, but again, I don't see him sending a lot of troops. I don't know where his troops are, um, so I'm a little worried about that. Um, so I presume he's not marching across here. I'll, I'll see the Danes fall potentially, not sure. Um, potentially since they've also got my religion, um, I could become friends with them, but I'd rather settle their site to get an extra order. So yeah, that's about where we are there. Um, succession is assured with our spy master and her daughter and grandson and son and two sons. So lots of succession. Tech tree wise, uh, as I mentioned, we're getting cartography for steel research. After that, I will probably go for battle line, um, especially since I see him building camel archers. Um, so we'll want to get that. I presume he's going down land consolidation to get to infantry square or something. So battle line and cohorts will be decent. Definitely need more iron. So we'll want to get a lot more mines up. We don't have that many up. Um, not a lot of mines around actually. So trying to get some. Some available. This city is going to be our second production city. This will be our first production city. At some some point, we hopefully will find a judge governor, uh, so we can buy buy stuff in the Rider City. Um, going to get this as a Byron production city. Probably found a city here. So I'm going to keep building lots of settlers. Um, we've been selling food. It's pretty expensive uh, as a sort of an income balancing thing, um, largely to compensate for the lack of iron. Uh, healing these units, then I'm going to go over there and kill stuff. So law-wise, yeah, we're at eight. Um, we have orthodoxy, which is somewhat expensive gold-wise, um, uh, but we can afford it. And having uh, the ability to rush with orders when desired, for example, first uh, inquiry, man, legendary inquiries are going to be amazing. Um, so we'll see. I might not assign her as scholar. I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I'm seriously considering designating her as heir and skipping over uh, the spy master, although that could end pretty badly maybe. I don't know. I'm infiltrating here to get a complete vision of where he is, all where he's founded all his cities. Um, so that will help quite a bit as well. So yeah. Um, Wonders, just the pyramids out right now. And then cities by training, if we take a look here, um, uh, our primary is at 19 and uh, our secondary here is at 14. So not really doing very well on training. And in contrast, he has uh, 24 and 28 in the cities that we can see, um, and then 10 in that newly founded city. So we are definitely behind in terms of training production, but we are way, way, way ahead of tech. Not really sure what's going on. It's law situation, two laws at turn 70 seems very strange. Um, I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, his ruler is a scholar with one charisma. Um, his sister is an heir, looks like, um, doesn't have too many many kids um so we will see what's going on i'm not sure why maybe he has some sort of civics choke or something i, I did snag the pyramids for for cheaper laws so i've saved 1600 civics from that so um source of science uh these two cities are basically pumping out a bunch of science uh around 13 14 each um and then just constitution is rocking with apprentice specialists and of course monasteries trying to get monasteries up especially in cleric cities uh they are so so valuable that's why we're building a jewish disciple there we're building one there and the temples are also really valuable that's part of the reason the city's just exploded in culture getting that early temple um and i think i got lucky with the manual of rhetoric event 
um, but plus six from the temple and plus eight for the monk <laughs> increase. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's getting up there. And we can hover over here and see how many increase he's done here. He has done one inquiry uh, from the culture. I'm not sure that's something that should necessarily be visible, uh, but it is. And uh, no increase here, although he does have an elder monk and dot, dot, dot two plus 20% culture events. Uh, and of course, he's rocking hunter cities for nets, so that's how he's gotten gotten um, to strong so quickly there. Family opinion, just yeah, folks are not converting to Judaism. Once they do, everything will be fine. Um, but unfortunately, they are not. Uh, we are we are converting everyone for this ambition, and then we'll go back to converting families once that ambition is done. Taking a look at graphs here, mill score. We're at two thousand. Uh, continuing to produce more. Just need to. Need to get things up and running. Uh, once this hits uh, culture, we should probably start sending some more things here um, to speed the city's growth up. Um, but realistically, like I just need these, and then we just upgrade uh, very quickly in this city that's already strong. And in fact, will be legendary soon. So, science-wise, we're at eighty-five, not counting increase. So, doing pretty good. Um, Orders similarly around 44 or so, and uh, you can see resource prices here. Food uh, continues to be pretty much where, where I'm dumping, so that's why that price is being kept low. Everything else is rising pretty significantly. So, and then very briefly, the stats screen um, we can see here specialists. I just have two officers, kind of not great, uh, need more officers built, uh, and I've only produced one military unit at this point, and yeah. And a bunch of improvements, uh, quarries, etc., etc., etc. So, all right. So, um, I'm the noble, and his cognomen is the mason, which is from building a bunch of improvements. So, not much intel there. So, yeah, we're gonna clear this out, clear this out, settle, settle, settle. Try to get a buy room up here, settle here, uh, and all the meanwhile get to seven or eight light chariots, and then push forward with that, supported perhaps by some skirmishers. Uh, six strength ones, and then just try to try to push in it and start start dealing some damage. Um, I saw that he had a scout somewhere around here as well, uh, so I know he has some visibility of what I'm what I'm up to. Um, so yeah, feeling decent at this game right now. It seems like it's going pretty well. Um, I feel like I definitely want to clear these Dane sites out. Like this is such a great hunter city. That double marble is just so great for another sage's site or even a cleric site. Um, so yeah. All right, see you in 10 turns. Hello everyone, so it's 1070 situation report. I actually uh, recorded it already, but I forgot the sound somehow. So I'll have to <laughs> do it again now that I've passed the turn to uh, Alcaraz. So compared to uh, last time, well, quite a few things uh, happened. Um, I'm just holding here <coughs> while my troops are mostly uh, back. I just uh, captured the last site from the Scythians, so I should be done with that relatively soon and bring back my uh, my units uh, forward to deal with this site at least. I'd like to get this one, but I don't know if I will be able to. That might uh, require, well, this one certainly, this one maybe. This would require uh, ships. I uh, would intend to move my troops uh, by boat through here. That would be a nice uh, stepping point toward the uh, Halkras. Ideally, I'd like a naval, naval movement fueled uh, invasion. If I can, a bit before is uh, fully ready. So he's still uh, with uh, a lot of uh, not non upgraded uh, Merc units. So maybe he's still uh, hurting for training a bit. Uh, his advanced units that were here are not around anymore, so I don't know if he's uh, capturing cities in the north, uh, still settling. He caught up uh, uh, quite a bit on the, on cities, he's now on uh, 11 to my own 11. So he's catching up, definitely. Waset is about to uh, be legendary, so I my read is that uh, Alcaraz is probably going for... Um, the Circus Maximus, because he's quite a fan of uh, mounted units, usually barely make anything else really, so uh, probably uh, probably his goal. 
I snatched the Acropolis, just started the Apadana, just started this turn, and I'll try to make the Acropolis uh, when I can after that. So these two workers will probably go back to Parsa, make the missing range, uh, strong gold when that become available. Uh, I have land consolidation, so I'll make uh, the I'll improve the lavender as well, which uh, with a specialist will grab the surrounding tiles. I'll get to my legacy next turn with the free belt on cavalry. Uh, yeah, so my uh, my kid uh, my kid ruler became uh, became queen. She is now a scholar. Um, generating honest science despite uh, competitive mode. I now have cartography, so that's, that was the road uh, that was uh, available to make uh, some progress. So I'm now still in research, just started for the first time this turn. Uh, got long consolidation composite bow uh, since last report, I think. And I will be going to uh, Mana, Botkin Arrow and all that good things later on. Doctrine for the temples is uh, tempting and orthodoxy, but uh, I'm not sure if I can afford it, so it will depend on the, the luck of the draw. I have a scholar, so it will depend what I deem worth through drawing as well, I guess. Uh, divination, aristocracy, and sovereignty are still super valuable, especially for the plus 800 civics. I'm urging for civics at the moment because I'm reinvesting it a lot into specialists. That's most of the uh, my science fuel, so pretty much all my cities are making specialists. I'm pumping a few archers here. I'll probably go back to slingers actually uh, soon to avoid paying the double wood of uh, archers then longbows. My warrior is barely holding. Maybe I'm playing too much with that, but uh, computing to get just one HP uh, left uh, very often. But I'll have reinforcements soon, and I can uh, anchor down my uh, my wire in the city if uh, if need be. I'm just clearing this site as well. My healthy chariots will uh, move back forward uh, very soon. I don't have a settler on hand, unfortunately, and my best growth city is Proftardia, where I really want to get a few more specialists for science. And uh, yeah, so a second officer would be uh, would be cool. Um, I finished the holy site, which been produced since last time. So that's more or less where I stand. So this is an autonomous city, so <laughs> as I uh, made it la uh, last turn. So it's making walls now, which is not really to my liking. But uh, but there you go. That's what the autonomous city is doing. Uh, I'll have to park a unit here and here for a bit of time, probably the militia, uh, to uh, to hold the site until I settle. This one is definitely a hunter city, but uh, this one I'm not too sure. Hunter for double uh, orders from elephant would be cool, but I'm not quite sure. This one would probably be clerics. I don't need a unit here because it was a barbarian site. Uh, Alright, so I guess Alcaraz is going to Legendary and, the, and the, the, the Circus Maximus. All the units he already has won't be swift, of course, So, but he will gain that uh, relatively quickly. I'm hoping to pump through the, the 8 tech and, uh, and get an ambition soon. My uh, legitimacy got a bit tanked because my uh, inheritance legitimacy while going through uh, um, regency uh, like instead of uh, inheriting half the legitimacy for King Fighters I'm on, I only get a third and then uh, and then only a little bit from uh, from the regent. The regent is now the governor of um, Proftasia. I'm not going full inquiries. The city is not strong, so inquiries are not that great. And I have cheap opportunities like archives and uh, urban specialist uh, for science. Yeah, that's also a consideration. I really need constitution uh, for plus one science per urban specialist. I think I have uh, over 10 urban specialists at the moment, so that would be a nice uh, influx of science as well. 
Uh, I brush the elder monk quite uh, soon too. I could uh, almost have done it this turn. I also need to uh, put an agent network in his frontline city. So that's uh, some of the competition for for this money. And uh, the Apalana will help, but it will take quite a bit of time. It helps me uh, do something with that swarm tile as well. So that's cool. Uh, I might be actually pushing a few triremes out of this city in the following turns to uh, accelerate the movement along the coast and get a foothold uh, on water tiles. I don't have the specialists I would really want here, but uh, we'll see. Maybe uh, maybe I'll get something better. And uh, and yeah, so pushing specialists in Parsar to improve uh, production. So I'll make uh, one more one more apprentice officer. Probably push elders while I have a judge around, uh, which won't last uh, forever. And then put my queen and benefit from the equestrian trade. Additional experience for mounted units. So yeah, that's what's going on. So mostly uh, pushing up my economy, specifically my science, and uh, starting to build uh, an army. Ideally, I'd like a few more warriors because I'd like to upgrade them to pipemen directly. So this guy is dealing quite a bit actually because he's both a ranger, steadfast, and horsebane. So dealing with. Uh, uh, even five strength nomad warlord is uh, is okay, but I've been pushing my damage quite a bit, killing a unit every two turns for some time, and now he will need to to heal. All right, so that's the direction we are going. Settling probably three more cities, four, maybe five. So I need to find a settler. My food situation is going a bit better, but it's not uh, awesome. Still, this city would uh, definitely help. So uh, we'll see if that's uh, in reach, and uh, and yeah, pushing pushing on toward uh, toward my goals. He just adopted his seventh and eighth laws, so I guess he was trying to hide it. But really, it was uh, relatively uh, easy to guess the direction he was going. So uh, he'll be making his uh, his citadel here. As soon as the city gets to uh, too strong in uh, eight turns at the uh, current rate, maybe faster. Let me see if I can put agents on how much it would bring. I only my tactician, so not great output. But I mostly want an agent here for the vision, so that's where I'll be going. Uh, I'll go as far as reassigning uh, generals, hero generals. Treachery might be good as well. But if I can, actually, I'll attack around the coast and uh, and directly to his core cities. This one would be a fine target. At the moment, uh, from the rider city, I can see this one just has horses, but it's weak, so it won't be able to rush units. And I don't think it has many specialists to uh, to produce a lot. Probably an apprentice officer somewhere. And uh, and this one with uh, two specialists, I assume two uh, two officers isn't great yet, and it's only uh, developing. So uh, he would have to make his unique units here and upgrade them. In uh, in Waset, since it doesn't have horses in Waset, so uh, so yeah, that's what's going on. Citadel just started here apparently. All right, and uh, that's my turn. That's the current plan. I will be nabbing wonders if I can uh, in the end. So going for Padana now and probably uh, Acropolis uh, relatively soon as well. My uh, stone production is catching up nicely. You know that I got. I'm starting to get my stone cutters and the marble tiles in the north, so uh, that will definitely help. Iron production is getting up, 
wood production is mostly here the the river tile uh, uh, lumber mills around here and a few a few others and uh, I think it's enough to be able to make uh, some upgrade I'll probably do some uh, some mass chopping when I get back uh, in the black for orders and that will be it for 1070s see you in 10 turns